We're reacting to The Rock is losing thousands of pounds per hour. Oh, thousands of fans per hour. If he's losing thousands of pounds per hour, bro, he's going to be dead. <laughs> Anyways, then my buddy Alex is here. He's helping me make videos because clearly I've been having a lot of trouble actually getting them filmed and out for you guys. Ayo. So, he, Ayo. He's going to be helping. That being said, Sunny V2, good to be back. Missed you. Let's go. The Rock just made WrestleMania's most disliked video ever and through some terrible podcast appearances, a completely out of touch fundraiser, and his reputation as a walking talking advertisement the world's fakest celebrity has for the first time ever seen a fall in Instagram followers have you seen any of that stuff no none of it I well I, I see his advertisements like everywhere where we live but I didn't I didn't even know he went on Jerry no yeah did you see that episode at all? not at no. all I've at seen all. I have seen that fundraiser promotion that he did with Oprah yeah. that was after the Maui wildflowers wildflowers the wild Fires. Do you think he's always he's always been kind of like fake though? No? I've always thought he was kind of acting. Yeah. It doesn't make I don't know. I thought everybody sort of thought that with him. I thought that was kind of part of the charm. But maybe there's something else. But the biggest contributor might be his endless list of lies on everything from his movie earnings to fast food consumption. For example, back in 2017, The Rock posted this photo to his Instagram claiming I've never been to in and out before, which didn't seem all that serious until roughly five years later, when in August 2022, he'd post the following video. This is the very first time that I have ever tried an in and out burger or in and out fries or anything from in and out burger. Guys, everyone saying he's lying what if he just has horrific cte he could be struggling every si alex he could have lost his memory of every in and out burger he's ever eaten his whole life that's from tragic fake, from all the fake wrestling yes they, yeah. they get hurt bro that's true that's they true. get it's fake wrestling but it's real cte they get smashed <laughs> into they get smashed into the chairs they get smashed into the squared circle i feel like we're watching this sad sad um, unraveling of one of America's foremost entertainers <laughs> and everyone is just piling on. He's like, what's happening? I've never eaten in and out well, well, Doesn't he have like a, a, a producer manager that manages all this stuff for him though? Honestly, they should be fired yesterday. <laughs> How did they let him do this? He therefore claimed for a second time it was my first ever time eating in and out yet he might not have been guilty given he'd also said this. Now I've picked up some in and out burger before for some buddies of mine. I've never tried it so this is a first. That would be until December 2023 when The Rock claimed for a third time. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, this is memento. Everybody's wrong. Everybody, he's got, there's, is he lying or is this just Dory? <laughs> this is finding Dory, dude. This is finding Dwayne. Also pretending like he'd never even tried fast food before. I didn't know the lingo, didn't know who to pay, where to pay, didn't know shit, before adding some self-congratulatory comments about leaving a massive tip. This led to mainstream media articles and a 6 million view <laughs> zero video. This hey. is the third time he's done it. He keeps pretending that he's trying in and out for the first time every couple of years. The other two videos are still on your Instagram page. Forcing The Rock to change his description by adding, my first ever In-N-Out burger experience again. Thanks to the fans who reminded me that I went to In-N-Out years ago and totally forgot about it. Is no one commenting about his emoji usage? That That is very strange. I'm a heavy emoji user. I, I'll be honest. Like, I do use emojis too much, but The Rock uses them way <laughs> too much. I, I use them texting my friends. I'm not, like, when I'm posting things publicly. I'm more, like, offended at his emojis than I am about his in and out lies. The, li <laughs> the lies in quotations. And qu I still think. <laughs> it's uh, Dwayne, how do we know that he isn't breaking out of an institution? Every time that he tries, he jacks a car, drives to In-N-Out. Who's stopping him? What's the order that he's going to stop Dwayne The Rock Johnson? He's massive. Yeah, you can't stop him. You he can't, can't stop be him. Can you smell what The Rock is cooking? And he's just like... There was another lie that did way more damage. Black Adam was released in December 2022, where yet after its theater run ended, Insider published an article reading, Box Office Bust, Black Adam Faces Theatrical Losses. The article explained that the film needed to earn a 
around 600 million worldwide to break even. Yet box office experts believe Black Adam will stall out with less than 400 million globally. Now the movie stands to lose 50 million to 100 million in its theatrical run, although only three days later The Rock was saying the opposite. Waited to confirm with financiers before I shared this excellent Black Adam news. Our film will profit between 52 and 72 million, fact. Also attaching a deadline article which stated, there's some snarking going on out there that Black Adam is poised to lose 50M to 100M, and that is simply just not true. The movie is bound to break even and be in the black. Well, it turns out this article was written with false information that The Rock had personally leaked to the journalist to make his film seem profitable. After 25 years, we finally found out what The Rock is cooking, <laughs> the books. But the thing that's really cooking his reputation- What's the point of that? What's what? You don't remember, like, when Black Adam was coming out? Dude, he I was don't know. hyping it. I don't so know what much. Black Adam is, dude. No, that right. was peak, like, when my daughter... It was. <laughs> I think that's about when I stopped making videos on this oh, channel. Oh, sure, sure, sure. What is Black Adam? It was just, like, a, a DC uh, superhero thing. It looked like Shazam, but... But his, Black, but Black, but Black Adam. Adam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was there anything cool about it? I, or what's I, that Will Smith? There's a Will Smith movie where he's a superhero, Hancock. too. Hancock. Is that what it is? Yeah. Hancock? I, I don't think it did well. I think that he was like really promoting it, but it just it just kind of flopped, but he kept saying like, oh no, this is successful, it's successful. But I guess I'm wondering, what is the point? Is he trying to shape the perception of the audience so that they'll then go to see his next movie? Because no one wants yeah, to go yeah, yeah. see somebody's next movie when their prior movie was like a flop and no one was into it. Because there's no way that this would trick actual people who would write the checks. Like yeah. studio execs and stuff. There's no way this would trick them. But he still has a massive audience that he can kind of pull around. And then plus, he I think this was off of the heels of the, the Fast and the Furious franchise as well. So he's just trying to do something. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But I just don't get why, like, why lie? Sure, sure. On this specifically, it doesn't seem like it been, it should be like, yeah, the movie was sick. And I'm really excited for it to become a, a legendary movie that continues to grow and that it becomes a cult classic. Everybody will come watch Black Adam 2 after they see this once it goes to streaming services because they'll know, oh, I wish I would have seen this in theaters or something. I feel right. like there's different ways to promote it. This just seems like a really weird way to go about it. Yeah, yeah, why lie? Why lie, yeah is perhaps the cooking itself, as The Rock's longest running and most off-putting lies are on the topic of diet and exercise. For example, The Rock claimed to be eating a suspicious amount of food. Anywhere between six to, well, I would say possible, almost 8,000 calories a day. Which was quickly shut down by Greg Doucette. There is no way The Rock burns off enough calories to average six to 8,000 calories a day and look like this. If he actually ate those kind of calories, six to 8,000 a day, Day, he would be a hundred pounds overweight. Who went through The Rock's entire daily diet before adding this. He described about 3,000 calories, maybe, but where do we get the six to eight total thousand calories? The Rock also uploaded His a His neck's bigger than my thighs. So yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I just thought it was all the trend. Yeah. I thought that's where the, the extra 3,000 calories were. I thought they were just being burnt by his liver because of all of the massive amounts of anabolic that he's just injecting through every orifice possible. He's like 3,000. He's pissing out steroids he's at this just point. All steroids. It's 3,000 calories of anabolic. Uncut leg workout, which he called intense and unlike anything I've ever done, which Greg went on to criticize. But look at the grimaces on his face. Notice how hard he seems to be pushing. This is two plates on each side. A man of the rock stature, size, and strength. I would believe that this would be a cakewalk. Many bikini competitors could lift this much weight. And I'm not trying to strength shame him here, but I believe that you're lying when you say that this kicked your ass. There is no way that this was difficult for you. Highlighting the rock's most notable lie. That one's kind of sad. That one just makes me kind of sad. What if he's got really bad knees, dude? No, no just, I mean, he, Greg seems like he knows way more about yeah, exercise yeah, yeah. than me. But I'm just imagining if I did my very, very best and I was like, oh, you know what? It's a little embarrassing, but I'm going to put it out the, into the internet to inspire everyone. And then someone's like, this dude is not trying. He's clearly faking. And you guys should all think he's a lying idiot asshole. And I'm like, I really am not that strong. To be fair, Greg is like five foot five, and The Rock is another tall king like me, and it's really <laughs> hard to pick up weights, you know, with our knees, you know. That, that's why it's just like a, he's a man, manamore versus manlet or whatever. There's not a fucking the range chance of motion. in hell he's clean. No. Not a chance in hell. As big as The Rock is, 
At oh, 15. no way. On the topic of steroids, Absolutely Johnson not. has said he hasn't touched them since he was 18 when he tried them before <laughs> college. Sure, you get a lot of people out there who will suspect and say shit. They want to negate the hard work you put in, although it's strange to see him only getting bigger despite now being in no. his 50s. What are you talking about? Everyone loves your third puberty at 45. <laughs> it's like Hobbits in breakfast. It's Dwayne's in puberty. It's... <laughs> <laughs> have you had your second puberty? It's wild to me to see, because like 35 year old Rock would be a big jack dude, right? Yeah. But then seeing Rock big now, big. Rock now looked like he ate Rock then. <laughs> and that, maybe that's the other 3,000 calories that they couldn't account for. That's where his hair went. It just it's all went. <laughs> it just sucked in. Eddie <laughs> Hall gave his voice on what Dwayne might be using. I would believe that The Rock would be on TRT, which is testosterone replacement therapy. A very good thing to do. It's actually very good for you very healthy for you while joe rogan theorized he was probably i feel like that i mean again this homie is way bigger than me so who yeah. am i to comment but no fucking way he's just on trt yeah like there's guys in my jiu-jitsu gym on trt sure. and while they are stronger than your boy they are not dwayne the rock johnson he's called the rock dude yeah he's absolutely blasting some designer stuff even if he lied about Black Adam, he's still massively wealthy. And so much of his earning potential is down to his body. He's yeah. got to be on some Barry Bonds type, like, doctor, uh, like, Dexter's Laboratory cooking something up just for him, for yeah. sure. Like, something we've never even heard of. He might be on CRISPR or something. Like, they're <laughs> editing his genome. He's massive. Yeah. It, TRT is like, some some 50-year-old got erectile dysfunction. Yeah, it's, it's like a kiss in the wind. It, you can't even feel it. There's yeah. no way. There's absolutely no yeah. way that he's just on TRT, therapeutic doses. More. You can't even get there with HRT. That's yeah. not HRT. Which was again no. echoed by Greg Doucette. Greg. Not only do I not think he's natural, I don't think he's on HRT. I think he's on the, the kitchen sink. Yes. Whatever he can <laughs> really? Take, I think he's on all of it and then some. You don't get big like that into your 50s compared he's to your 60s. Yeah. You see some photos of him in his 30s, he's way bigger and leaner now. This has helped him to earn the following title. The Rock is the fakest celebrity in Hollywood. And nothing solidified this harder than The Rock's recent Joe Rogan episode. I was very hyped for this podcast, but it was honestly quite boring. Rock unironically has some serious politician traits with how he takes the middle road and nods his way through anything potentially controversial Joe would say. As mentioned, The Rock tiptoed through the entire episode. You tell The Rock just did not want to give his opinion on anything and he's walking on eggshells. You know, he's definitely worried about saying anything controversial or getting canceled. I feel like he's a human focus group. That's what I think of the Dwayne The Rock Johnson as kind of. Like when, when um, Michael Jordan, who was not a human focus group, <laughs> but he said, I don't want to say anything political because I think he said Republicans buy sneakers too. Right. I, th I think Rock does that, but even more extremely. Like he won't, he, he, he is like, I just want to calculate and do whatever I think will be the most mildly positive for the most people and will have the least negative reaction because I, I think he just cares about money he i also feel like he's just like a a, a holdover from when the social media presence of individuals mm. weren't as big as they are now yeah right? and, and he because he was famous before social media yeah exactly he's 53 now and he was really famous in when i was in elementary school he's super famous so he would predate that, and he was kind of from that era of celebrity that was a lot more detached. Where everybody and, was like him. Yeah, and, and early social media was very much like, oh, isn't it so cool that it's celebrity doing X thing, and no one really cared that much or criticized very hard, and the celebrities didn't have to have well-developed personalities. They just were like, whoa, it's so cool that celebrity is on Twitter, and they could say the most mundane stuff like... Yeah. Uh, I like waffles or something. I yep. get millions, right? Yep. And there's still a little bit of that with um, with like teenage celebrities, I think, because mm -hmm. teens are just like so locked in. Right. But I feel that now we've come so much further in social media that you want something more like Hot Ones or something that has celebrities that are engaging and showing other aspects with or substance. sides of them. Yeah. Instead of just the guy who is a work acquaintance and is your work friend, you know nothing about them. I think that's what it feels like he's a work acquaintance that does not want anything more but wants a pleasant, like, tone. Yeah. Yeah.
Additionally, The Rock avoided controversy by controlling every topic, leading to other comments such as, Rock has asked Joe about 100 questions so far, and I don't think Joe has asked Rock a single one. Joe is doing all the talking about the same old shit and I'm about to fall asleep. <laughs> the whole episode just felt kind of weird, not only because of Joe previously calling The Rock a steroid user, but because The Rock had also- But Joe Rogan doesn't mean that in an offensive way. No, it because he's on it too. I mean, yeah, everyone knows. Like this man is a cocktail. <laughs> he's not, he's like yes, and good for him. Also, look at their heads. Yeah, they're, they they're both the have. And Dana White has the same head. They're like, taking the same thing. Like, they're like, on the same stuff, guys. They're on that shit that makes your head grow. Only <laughs> because of Joe previously calling The Rock a steroid user, but because The Rock had also called Joe Rogan out himself. I thought The Rock disowned Joe during the whole N-word incident. Back in 2022, when Joe posted this iconic video, The Rock stood firmly behind him by writing, Great stuff here, brother. Perfectly articulated. Looking forward to coming on one day and breaking out the tequila. Even that Joe is an app for his tequila. Yeah, that's so shitty to me. If you're gonna support somebody, support somebody. Don't find some way to insert your weird own <laughs> business. That's whack. Like, imagine if somebody had uh, someone close to them passed away, and you were like, "I'm so sorry for you. I can't wait till we can crack open my Brock brand tequila." So my dad can... actually sells caskets. I'm hoping to put, <laughs> put your recently deceased one in there. It's like the next level of social media hustling. <laughs> it's like, the morgue hires the, the daughter or the son of somebody who runs a morgue gets a social media degree. <laughs> like, Dad, we really need to get our web presence going high. So his support was met with backlash. Dear The Rock, you're a hero to many people and using your platform to defend Joe Rogan, a guy that used and laughed about using the N-word dozens of times, is a terrible use of your power. Have you actually listened to this man's many racist statements about black people, causing The Rock to fold instantly? Dear Don Winslow, thank you so much for this. I hear you as well as everyone here 100%. I was not aware of his N-word use prior to my comments, but now I've become educated to his complaints. This sounds narrative. like it was written by Learning. Chat GPT. Yeah. This or or his his uh, PR team. He, he Rock doesn't even have a PR team. He is yeah. the PR team. The P PR <laughs> moment Nightmare. for me, showing he'd came from the smallest bit of criticism. The Rock was the most sanitized, nuded, safe person I've ever heard audio of. Not one real opinion. He was like the breathing version of <laughs> Chat GPT in ten years. <laughs> the Rock might be physically strong, but clearly has no public backbone. Oh, this, this is, this show is more brutal. Comically than How they make that graphic? Content. That graphic was wild. Like this, the craziest thing about the way that the new editors and the new AI and all the new tools are, are just the amount of visual roast that people can see. <laughs> like this is just a cobbled together three second roast. That was yeah. brutal, dude. That was like, Has no public that's backbone. insane. And How did they make this that? More comically than his recent Maui controversy. After the oh, yeah, this is it. This players, is it. The Rock and Oprah launched the People's Fund of Maui, contributing $5 million each before asking the public to donate so we appreciate any support that you can give what do i do what do i do this is what you do the people's fund of maui the comments have since been turned off completely yet they once echoed the sentiment math ain't mathing with this one you guys literally have so much money you can donate it and make it back within a year Especially now the rock didn't need to respond his five million dollar donation was already extremely generous i, mean, that's, that is, yet I will say like that is a lot $5 million yeah. is so much money to donate. Even No matter how much money you have, yep. it's still a ton to donate. But I also, Oprah is like, Oprah's wealth, it, us to rock is like Oprah to yeah. rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oprah's so wealthy. Oprah could have donated a new island. Well, she, she owns half of Maui, doesn't she? Or something crazy yeah. like that. She could have absolutely done something. Yeah. Way more than that. Again, he couldn't handle the backlash and uploaded a video claiming he'd done the wrong thing. When we first launched the fund, there was some backlash. And I want to address and acknowledge that backlash right now. And here's what I have to say about that. I get it. And I completely understand. And I could have been better. And next time I will be better. The Rock doesn't even feel like a real person anymore. What He's basically say? just a walking business, with the whole walking billboard mentality becoming increasingly obvious to everyone. What is he? Well, I guess the thing that's weird to me is he doesn't say what he did wrong and how he's going to do it differently in the future. He just said, I did. He, it's like he gets a little bit of blowback and he deflects. Yeah. It, it's like happy deflection. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, you know, I heard what you guys said and I, I think I did. I could have done better and I will do better. What does that mean? You didn't yeah. say anything. 
That's just acknowledging that people were mad at you and trying to placate them. I think that's what irritates me. If he had said something that was more specific, like, yeah, I thought that there were some criticisms of how we were using the funds. Or, oh, yeah, I thought the messaging was a little bit rough. And I, we really should have emphasized more that it was completely optional for other people. And we weren't trying to guilt them into helping. We were just trying to figure out a way to funnel money if people did want to or something. Yeah. If he's like, oh, our messaging was bad. Or, oh, I I could have given more. or But he, it was just a weird way to say it. But why even? He, he doesn't even have to say anything. I know, he doesn't have to say anything. He already gave $5 he million. He gave $5 million. Dollars. Yeah. And there was always be somebody on the internet. Granted, I understand why he has haters after watching this, but I still think it's crazy generous to give $5 million. But I feel like he could have given his whole fortune and there still would have been somebody yeah. who criticized and said it wasn't enough. There's so many voices on social media. And when someone have, has haters like that, like you're, you're never going to actually satisfy everybody who dislikes you because they disliked you regardless of what you did. They're yeah. going to... You know what I mean? Like, they he disliked him before he gave money. They're not going to suddenly turn around. And that's sales mode. For example, he simply had to celebrate his sold-out wrestling match with a massive swig of tequila. And what about the drink of choice for his first time trying in and out Well, his again, two straight shots of his own brand of alcohol. Not exactly believable. Maybe it's about... not CTE. Maybe he gets blackout <laughs> drunk <laughs> and tries to in and out every time he's blackout and he doesn't remember. He... he... He just doesn't respect his fans and all that stuff like yeah. that. He's, he's a holdover from 2005. He's just not honest. Because you could get away with so much more because if you did something funky in the media, you had PR teams who would call somebody and they would get taken down. But the internet... It, yeah. It's forever, essentially. Like it's so much harder to take stories down. About this wholesome video where he pulls up to a tour bus. You guessed it, it's actually an ad. We're building our second distillery, <laughs> and we are the uh, largest employer of everybody in Jesus Maria. I love Jesus Maria. Thank you, brother. Did you try the tequila? By scrolling to any part of his Instagram, you can yeah. see that around 75% of his posts are sponsored, and the nickname Dwayne the Ad Johnson is therefore <laughs> perfectly fitting. This, combined with everything else, has severe severely wounded his image. However, his recent actions with the WWE have dealt the final really? blow. On the 23rd of January 2024, The Rock became a WWE board member and a voice for what takes place in the show. The Rock ensured the audience, at my core I'm a builder who builds for and serves the people, although so far he hasn't served anyone beside himself. <laughs> How much you ask? Well, you'll need a bit of backstory. Roman Reigns was WWE champion for roughly three whole years years, although it was hinted that the widely adored Cody Rhodes would be next to take the title. The two had a long-running feud so their matchup seemed perfect, and Cody had just won the Royal Rumble, the winner of which normally goes on to face the champ. Well, after all the hype had built, Cody Rhodes unexpectedly told Roman he didn't want to face him, randomly subbing himself out for the Rock <laughs> who had no place in the sport. Suspiciously, this was only 10 days after Dwayne became a board member, with many believing The Rock had simply written himself into their feud. That's the insane. highlight therefore gained over 700,000 oh. dislikes, being given the title of the most hated WWE move ever, since the highlight is now the WWE's most disliked video. <laughs> the backlash was so severe that the story was totally changed, with Cody successfully beating Roman in April, <laughs> after which The Rock announced he was leaving. The story led some fans to state, I swear I haven't watched this much wrestling in years, although The Rock's personal following hasn't been so healthy. That's Only what 12 him? months ago, The Rock was gaining 5 million followers per month, although through everything discussed in this video, The Rock is now losing fans for the very first time ever. It was finally, he, he broke his, 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 in his only fans that stuck through him with everything was probably his core wrestling audience from back in the day. And then he just like pissed on their whole celebration. But if he owns a, a chunk of WWE and this one comment was saying, this is the most wrestling I've ever watched in a long time. Isn't The Rock still winning? Oh yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah, That's the, the other thing. It's like, okay, cool. He's losing followers, but is he getting dinero? But then again, will this, will this gravy train continue if people are just fed up with his shilling? Sure. Or is it just a loud minority and most people are cool with it? Wow, 700... 700,000 dislikes? Yeah, that's, that's really a lot. <laughs> it's, it's so shady, though. I, I kind of feel like that happens with Dana a little bit in UFC. is the only analog that I can think of where he inserts himself as one of the most dominant brands and faces in MMA, even more so than a lot of the fighters. And that gets blowback from the hardcore fans, but casual fans love it. 
Dana doesn't. Dana doesn't give it a fuck, dude. Well, I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying casual, like hardcore fans get pissy about it, but casual fans love it. Yeah, oh, sure, sure. So that makes me wonder if it's kind of the same thing with The Rock. But the thing is, is that The Rock is like he's fake, old. and Dana White, White oh, is, yeah, is yeah, not yeah. fake. He's not fake. Even even when he does ads, it's way more like buy my whiskey. Yeah, which is banana flavored. <laughs> that's I, I don't know. Interesting. Maybe we'll do a hated celebrities alcohol taste test or something, but. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dwayne's tequila and Venus <laughs> Howard had liquor. Well, it's banana flavored. Isn't that just kind of wild to you? Yeah, yeah. Anyways, that was super fun. Hopefully, we'll be able to keep making a lot of these videos for you guys. I've really missed missing. Uh, I've missed making videos with you guys. So Alex has said, like I said, that he's gonna help out so we can keep pumping some content out for y'all. But I missed you guys. Hope you have a beautiful day, and we'll see you next time. So bye. <laughs>